Okay, you guys are likely gonna hear some background noise because I've got other people who live here, but I have to do this haul. You guys, I spent $1,077 at Costco. Insane. No, this will not last us a year. Yes, this is partially our like uh, regular kind of grocery store trip, but it's also stocking up a little bit further than that, just so I don't have to go to Costco in the time that the baby comes. I am 36 and a half weeks right now, but it's also, um, what was the other thing? Oh, I'm making freezer meals. I'm making like 20 freezer meals. So that also tax on because that's 20 dinners. That's over two weeks of dinners, right? So anyway, I had to remind myself of that as I was checking out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Just wait till you see what we got though. We got so many fun things, a couple of fun little items in there that I've always been wanting. Then some things that are gonna make our life easier as baby comes. And yeah, can you even, can you see this belly? Oh my goodness. I basically waited until like the last possible moment that I would be able to go and do this haul because I am starting to get to the point where I cannot do big things like this. I'm getting way too tired. We have so much stuff going on here. I'm actually gonna take you right over here and just start with this little pile first, just to make it easy and get it out of the way. So I grabbed this knife set. We actually have this knife set right now, but it was on clearance for under $15, $14.97, something like that. It's going away and I have just loved it so much, but our large knife, we lost the um, knife guard like that you would put the knife in and I just keep feeling like someone's gonna reach in our knife drawer and pull it out and anyway for $15 I will gladly <laughs> avoid someone getting a cut um also grabbed they had these organic Amy Lou Italian style chicken meatballs we've had these before and we liked them so I'm thinking maybe I'll put this like in a lasagna or something like that or maybe I'll just freeze them like this it comes with two packs in there and that's just an easy dinner. Whoa, this baby is moving so much right now. It's, it's making it hard to talk because they keep kicking me in my diaphragm, I think. I grabbed two things of fully cooked bacon. This was one of the most painful things I bought because of how expensive it is for one pound compared to the four pounds that is literally right next to it. But I, like I said, am getting very large and doing these hauls and doing like the freezer meals and stuff is getting to be a lot. Like I can hardly stand after an hour of doing it. So I'm trying to take some shortcuts. These are going to be for, well, I can't remember, but something that I am making in, a, in the freezer meals video, you'll have to tune in to check that out. It'll be coming very soon. I grabbed some corn. We love corn. Corn on the cob is always great and it reminds me of summer. And we are pulling in that warmer summer weather right now, which I am so happy about. Three things of bananas. I honestly probably should have grabbed more. We eat bananas on the regular, just like in our cereal and granola and stuff like that in our smoothie bowls. But then I also like to throw them in to the freezer to freeze them and then put them in our smoothies. So we always need a surplus of bananas and then made good granola minis right here because the kids just love them. We have so many of the berry ones left over, but they love the chocolate chip ones the most. So thought I'd get them a fresh pack and renew that. I'm coming around to the back of the island here and we have like 10 of these Rayo's marinara sauce. We usually go through about six of them in a month, which I have been going to Costco once a month. Um, but then I grabbed a couple extra because I'm going to be making some lasagnas, um, trying to make maybe, I don't know, something else with spaghetti sauce. I just wanted enough on hand so I could make the freezer meals as well. Remember, we are planning ahead here. The rest of them will go into our food storage. And then this one was just interesting to me. I've never seen them carry this. It's the organic marinara from Tuscany, and it is different than their regular Kirkland organic marinara, which I'm not the biggest fan of that flavor. It's a fine marinara sauce, but once you've had this, it's very hard to switch back and forth. I just thought I'd try it. It seemed good. It was $10 for three of them. I was like, you know what? We can't go wrong. Speaking of freezer meals, I grabbed this. What is this? Maybe like a 20 pack and the peppers are falling on me. Pause, please. Put these over here. As you can see, we got bell peppers. <laughs> And I have a sink full of dishes. I had to get this done. But I grabbed these. Um, they're 30 half 
size deep steam table pans. This was the only type of like tinfoil pan that I saw them have there. I know around like Thanksgiving time they had actual tinfoil pans, but this actually works well for us because sometimes a nine by 13 is too much food for us. And then we end up having a lot of leftovers that we're just like bored of, if that makes sense. So I grabbed these, oh, 30, there's 30 of them in there. And that will be used for some of the freezer meals, like the lasagna, the chicken and rice, things of that sort. And then I can just keep those on hand. And I actually really love to give out freezer meals to like new moms, or I just gave it to a girlfriend who said that she was expecting, but she was so nauseous and having a hard time cooking for her family. So I sent a freezer meal to her. Things like that, I love to have these on hand so I can send them to people and not worry about getting glassware back. I also grabbed these um, Sweetums Candy Hearts Red Seedless Grapes. They're basically like the cotton candy grapes, but they are very good. Two things of green grapes, we'll wash those up and I usually, usually like to leave them in the fridge in an open bowl. Ours do not go bad because we eat them so fast, but um, we just really like being able to grab grapes like on the go, like just right out of the fridge. As you can see, I, uh, Derek is trying to spray our yard with like a weed killer, um, but we're trying to make our own natural one because we have kids and dogs. And anyway, so he's trying to figure that out. That's why he's been walking in back and forth. He is so hardworking. I just adore him. Okay, Siete almond flour tortillas right here. These are just our favorite. I usually have some stocked in the freezer and realized, oh my gosh, I am completely out. Not only that, I need to make like some freezer meals. So grabbed a bunch of these. I think I grabbed eight of them and they freeze really well, like I said. Um, we are making, again, this is for one of our freezer meals. I don't want to give them all away because that kind of takes away part of the fun of the freezer meals video, but this is going into one of our freezer meals. So thankfully Derek also likes cashews, like just to eat in general. So that'll be something that he can have for a snack. The kids like them too. I grabbed, oh, grabbed these DB's Superfruit Organic Freezy Pops. I honestly probably should have grabbed more than one. I've never seen them there before. The only place that I've ever found these and actually discovered these was on Thrive Market and they are so good. Even my neighbor, last year I brought over a bunch of popsicles and I brought these for the adults. They're not like an adult popsicle, like they don't have any kind of um, alcohol in them, but I brought these for the adults and then like the good pop ones for the kids and she was like oh my gosh these are incredible I was like I know they're so good I don't know what it is about them but they are so good so if you find those in your um Costco they're basically just like otter pops where you shake them and then put them in the freezer and they freeze right up I grabbed some carrots this is for going into a bunch of our freezer meals as well avocados and thankfully I did not have to sell my firstborn child to buy these they were not terrible they were about six bucks so it was like a dollar a piece I guess I guess that's not great either but honestly I love avocado it's something that's helping me stay full lately like when I have like avocado toast by the way that's play money not real money sitting on the floor, but I am too large to bend over to grab it right now. So the kids will have to get that. I digress. <laughs> they finally had the Good Foods Buffalo style dip back. I love this stuff. Sometimes they bring this back and sometimes they bring the queso back. This one is so good with those um, puffs. I'm trying to think of what they are. The hippies puffs, also with carrots, also with mini cucumbers. Grillo's pickles, of course, probably should have grabbed two of these. I am looking forward to some burgers and some corn on the cob. Maybe that's what we'll have for dinner tonight because I love me some pickles. Grab two things of dates right here. I am now in the point or at the point in pregnancy where I should be eating at least six dates a day. I've heard differing information if it should be three or six because these are larger ones. I'm already tired of them. <laughs> it's been like three days. Um, so I'm trying to put them in my smoothies and stuff because they give a great flavor, but I'm just tired of the texture already that or I freeze them with like peanut butter and mini chocolate chips I've done that before Ugh, I'm just you know over it but if it will help me have an easier labor I am good with that uh zucchini and yellow squash I have been missing that so much I love to just grill these up honestly that would be good with the burgers too um a pineapple this is we're actually just going to eat this one fresh but one of my freezer meals did call for pineapple 
So I could have used this or canned. I'm definitely going canned. Pendleton outdoor packable blanket. So I explained this in the Costco haul if you guys have seen that. I have been thinking about this thing for literally a year, okay? I saw it come out a year ago and I was like, that's such a great idea, but I never bought it. it <sighs> I have literally thought about it every single time we have needed a pack, like a blanket for like the park or something or a picnic. I finally saw it today. It was on sale. I said, I'm getting it done. Like I don't even need to think about it. So we grabbed some pink oranges as my kids call them. They are the Cara Cara oranges. Love to use these in smoothies. Love to cut them up for my kids for a snack. They just literally down them. <laughs> grabbed some onions this is like the smallest bag of onions that i've ever seen at costco but that's okay i just need quite a few of them for freezer meals so i didn't want to run out i will use the ones that i have in my pantry first and then replace them with these blueberries strawberries um two things of eggs quite a few of our freezer meals need eggs as well um some jack's cantina salsa this is one of my favorite salsas mayonnaise i'm so glad they had this because last time i was there they did not have it and this has been by far our favorite mayonnaise by Primal Kitchen. The Kirkland peanut butter. Oh my gosh, I'm missing a whole middle section over here. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of spices today that we don't have. Everything bagel seasoning. I make our own homemade sourdough bagels and I would really love to put this on our bagels. I thought about it every time and I finally just bit the bullet and bought it because these spices are so much cheaper at Costco. This crushed red pepper, I think was, I don't know, maybe $4 for a massive thing of it. This was $5. This was $4, just some black pepper. I never use pepper, <laughs> but it's because I never have pepper. And then organic paprika, this big old thing was again, $5. This was going away and not something that we needed, but one of those fun things, organic wild main blueberry jam. I have seen someone else use this on YouTube and when she pulled it out, it literally had whole blueberries in it. And I was like, you know what? We're going to try it. I've never even seen it there before. We like peanut butter and jellies. We like jam on our toast. So that's all good. I grabbed three of these um, cherry juices, maple syrup. We just ran out of that. So that's a staple as well. I finally got some sauerkraut. They finally came back with it. I'm so excited to have that. My mouth is literally salivating looking at that. Uh, Derek's favorite salsa. This is the Kirkland organic salsa and it is shelf stable, which is fabulous. Needed some olives. This is just like part of our regular stock up. Um, Derek just loves olives, but actually so do the kids. They could literally eat them by the handful. Three things of chicken breast. And again, this is because freezer meals. Okay. But then we also grabbed some of this chuck roast. It's got two big ones in there. So I plan on that making two freezer meals. Um, it's about five pounds total. I think two and a half pounds of meat will be just fine. Grabbed some frozen blueberries and some frozen strawberries. Also grabbed some Love Crunch dark chocolate and peanut butter granola. We love that Love Crunch stuff. I know you guys know that. A big old watermelon right here. We'll see if this one goes better than our last one. The fruit layered bars. I'm honestly not sure if the kids are even going to eat these, but they picked them off the shelf. I was like, guys, we have had these before and you guys don't like just go crazy over them. So I'm, I don't know, but they picked them out and I was like, okay, we'll try organic strawberry lemonade. This stuff was actually on sale today and my kids love this. Actually I do too, especially miss mixed with like a spin drift or like a sparkling water. Grabbed three bags of these Siete grain-free tortilla chips. Explain, I've explained these a million times, but in case you're new, my husband d uh, cannot do corn. So these are corn-free tortilla chips. Today they were on sale for $3 for that massive bag, which is a great deal. And he loves to use them for nachos. And actually the whole family loves them too. These with the Jack's Cantina salsa are so good. Also grabbed a thing of foil because I, I have foil on hand for the freezer meals. I don't think I'll have any more after the freezer meals. So this is just gonna go like in our food storage until I'm ready for it. And down here, oh, I just touched the water thing with my arm. Down here, we've got two things of baking soda. We use this as our laundry detergent. I also grabbed a thing of paper plates. This is one of the things that's going to make our life easier when the baby comes. Paper plates, hello. You know what they look like, but these are actually my favorite ones because they have quite a few at Costco. These are the ones that actually hold up like if you are holding them. When I first have a baby, getting around to the dishes, like seeing a sink full of dishes is very hard. It stresses me. So I'm going to be using some paper plates, maybe just for the first week, if that. Then the rest of them will stay in our food storage. 
paper towels right there. All of their Ziplocs were on sale this week. So I grabbed, these are freezer quarts. These are sandwich bags. And then I also grabbed freezer gallon bags. Grabbed some diapers. Isla is in size four. I have plenty of newborn diapers on hand, so I didn't grab any more of those. Also grabbed Waterloo, which is my fave. Cherry limeade, peach, and blackberry lemonade. These have to be ice cold for me to love them, but that mixed with like the strawberry lemonade is so good. And then we also grabbed these Evercrisp apples right here. And these ones, I have never seen them in the store. I only ever found them at our local farmer's market. And the farmer who carried them introduced me to them and they are amazing. They are a, what are they? A cross between a Honeycrisp and a Fuji. And they are so crisp and it says they stay fresher longer. They are correct about that. I have ones in my fridge that are still there from like two months ago and they're still fine. I think that is it. <laughs> that is it. Do you know how long this is going to take me to put away? <laughs> Five ever. <laughs> Just like the title says, we are going to be doing some food prep. Some of it may not be exactly what you're expecting, but I thought that I would show you what I'm making Derek for lunch this day. He had come up with this idea all on his own. They are called pizza fries. So first you cook up your waffle fries, how you would in the oven just to make them crispy. We like to do them on air fry. I think it's like 400 for like 20 minutes or something like that. Then you take them out, cover them with cheese and pepperoni, like whatever else you want on your pizza fries and put them back in the oven for maybe like five minutes or something like that. I usually do it on bake. I don't think it really matters, but it comes out like this, a crispy, gooey goodness. And then I serve it with marinara sauce on the side. I think the recipe that he originally saw, the marinara sauce was like cooked on it, but I know that he does not like soggy fries. So I just put it on the side and he loves it. He asks for it all the time. We use the Alexia brand of waffle fries just in case you're curious. But now I am moving on to organizing our snacks. I was going to say snack products, whatever you want to call them. These are the made good granola minis that my kids are obsessed with. And the little snack boxes come from Costco. These things have been awesome. And yes, I did just bump the camera with my big old belly. I'm trying to remember when I filmed this. Did I say I was like 36 and a half weeks or something like that? I'm now doing the voiceover and I'm 37 weeks, four days. I think that's right. Four or five days, something around there. And I have been having quite a few contractions today. So I am, I'm not thinking I'm going into active labor tonight or anything like that, but I am glad that I got all of this stuff done because Wow, making freezer meals has taken me, it always takes me so much longer than I think it will. Before we get into all that, I want you to hear Derek playing with the kids. It's so cute. I swear, watching your husband be such an amazing father just makes you fall so much harder in love with him. Um, okay, enough for the sap sappy stuff. What I was talking about was the freezer meals and how long it's been taking me to make them. And it's because uh, my body is literally screaming for a break. <laughs> but then my body is also screaming for me to get up and start nesting. So I have been making all the freezer meals. I am almost done with them. Almost done. So close. And I am ready to be done. But I am loving seeing our freezer be totally filled with all these meals that are going to just like be so helpful. I was going to say nourish our bodies, which is so true. I mean, they're all healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free, all that kind of stuff. You guys know me, but I am just so excited to see it all prepped because I just told Derek before I filmed this voiceover, I was like, you know, my whole goal for this postpartum is for it to be re as relaxing as possible. Like I'm not trying to be doing a bunch of stuff. I would like to get out of the house and like you know, go to a park or whatever, like not be stuck in the house. But my entire goal is just for it to be as relaxing and bonding and healing as possible. So I, I, th I really do believe that's going to happen. I think it all depends on the mindset you go into it with. I'm also very lucky to have a husband who not only works from home, but also has quite a bit of time off for paternity leave. And I think it should be the standard everywhere. Sadly, it's not, but 
we are very lucky to have that. And it just makes me so grateful how hard he has worked to get to where he is in his job. Um, anyway, okay. We're getting like way off track here, but I, like <laughs> you guys can see, I'm doing a ton of food prep. I made these cocoa rice krispies. Like I told you guys in the thrive market hall, everywhere has been out of regular rice krispies. So I made them with chocolate ones and they were actually really good. We have thoroughly enjoyed them. We actually still have them on our counter and we are finishing up this week, finishing them up this week. But then I was making some homemade bagels and thought I'd show you just a little bit of the water bath process. It's super easy and simple. The dough is probably the hardest part and the dough is not very hard. I use a sourdough recipe and I have been making them at home for the past year or so I'd say and I do a long fermentation process so that it cuts out as much of the gluten as possible and we seem to tolerate it pretty well but I was making these bagels for a freezer meal that I am doing for one of my breakfast freezer meals so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that because that is already all filmed I just have to edit it and upload <laughs> which by the time you're watching this I honestly have I would assume I've probably already had the baby, which is so crazy. I've just been trying to film in advance so that I still have content for you guys, but again, still can have that relaxing postpartum period and just enjoy it. So I am covering these bagels with everything but the bagel seasoning and I, it was so good. I loved it. But the ones that are going into our freezer, not for the breakfast meals, are just these regular plain ones because I wasn't sure if my kids would like the everything but the bagel seasoning and I think I was right I, I don't think they were too thrilled with it it's not that they wouldn't like the taste I think they actually would like the taste but you know toddlers if you show them something different they're kind of like um no I've never seen that before and I don't like it and they've you know they've never tried it so I just try to squeeze all the air out and then I always label the bag with the date and what it is. And with those bagels, the way that we heat them up is literally just in the oven at 400 degrees for I think 10 minutes, super easy. And then the kids love them with cream cheese, but just getting my diffuser started a little bit too, a little bit too late. I probably should have done that in the beginning of the video. Cause that would have been nice and relaxing. I was just doing some lemongrass in there and it made the house f smell so fresh. I actually looked it up. Lemongrass is toxic to dogs. <laughs> so be careful with that. But I guess it's only toxic if they eat it. So I made sure they did not eat the essential oil diffuser. And we are all good on that. Here I'm cutting the pineapple. And I wanted to tell you my little trick with the pineapple core. My mom actually used to eat the core and she loved it. And this one actually was so juicy. You could have eaten the core and it really would not have been a problem. But I actually use it in our smoothies to give it a nice pineapple taste. Because you're not going to get that stockiness of the core, which I feel like it's usually the texture for people. It's not so much the taste and it just gives you a nice pineapple flavor without wasting it. I try my best not to waste as much as I can. Um, but not everything was going to fit in this bag. So again, instead of wasting, I just cut it up and put it on the kids plates for their lunch, which was nice to have something already kind of ready to go on their plates. I can't remember what else they had that day. I think it was mac and cheese, but we are nearing the end of this video here. And I just want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Make sure you subscribe down below, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.